hello Anna and hello anyone who's watching this. Um, my name's Emma. I am 48 years old. Oh no, I'm not. I'm 49. <laughs> and um, hurtling towards 50 and I'm um, in West Sussex. I am a uh, yoga teacher. So um, I have always, uh, well, yeah, for about 20 years being quite um, uh, um, involved in um, checking out alternative media. So when all this kicked off, um, I didn't really believe it, to be honest, from the get-go. Um, so for me, it's not a question of awakening as this has gone on. Um, I kind of saw it play out to the extent it has now and understood maybe, you know, why certain things uh, were being uh, done. <sighs> what do I want to say? I want to say there's a few things really. I don't know if anyone's spoken about this um, on here. I haven't watched all of them. I've tried to watch a few. One of the things that is um, concerning for me is children and um, the effect that all this has on the kids. The mask wearing um, I think is, is just awful for the children to be able uh, for them to see uh, adults in masks not close to them, for not to be able to see their smiles, their expressions, um, for them obviously not to be able to touch one another, to um, hug one another, um, for teenagers not to be able to, and this isn't about the masks so much, but as you know, growing up into puberty, what's this going to do um, if this continues? Everyone is going to be very suspicious of everyone else. What's going to happen to the natural urges as you reach puberty to, you know, get to know each other and um, I think it's, yeah, going to um, be extremely, or could be extremely uh, destructive. And the other thing that is really bothering me about the kids, so all this time homeschooling, you know, um, I know, well, I know in my situation that, you know, we've both been working and sort of taking it in turns to <laughs> attempt homeschooling and we haven't really done loads but to be honest with you my main objective has always been keep things you know pretty normal don't make a big fuss don't put any fear into them just be ordinary um I've probably let them see my um outrage a little bit at some things that are going on but um hopefully not too much um but with all the best will in the world, and I'm quite a strict mum actually when it comes to like uh, tech stuff, um, I think what has happened certainly in my experience is that gaming and that sort of stuff has become more alluring to them because they have not been seeing their friends in the same way. They've not been interacting in the same way, although they do go out now and they are playing football now. It's beginning to, you know, they're beginning to do a bit more now, but it's almost like the escape of a game and the fact that there is less variation in the day has become more alluring. And of course, we know the nature of gaming is really addictive. Uh, I don't want to judge anyone, you know, do what you want to do, but... Um, it is a concern of mine, um, is that, you know, and I see my children at eight and nine, and as I say, we do have quite a strict sort of when they can do it and when they can't, but we know when the time comes for them to get off it, you know, we have, often we have temper tantrums and um, a lot of tears, a lot of emotion. Maybe that's us not dealing, it, dealing with it well. Um, Maybe we're not doing the right thing, I don't know, but um, that does bother me. It really does bother me. Um, yeah, so so that's, um, that's one of my real main concerns about all of this. And um, but on another note, just to say that um, 
as a yoga teacher with my yoga teacher hat on. This too will pass. Uh, yes, it's weird, but we do have a choice to how we respond to this. And while, you know, many of us will be saying the mainstream media have put out a lot of fear, I would also caution that the alternative media equally you can get in it's not necessarily they're putting out fear but you as an individual can get into fear and start to release those hormones you know the fight or flight hormones equally going down that rabbit hole and I know about this because I've been doing it for many many years um so I think as much as we can try and stay grounded and level breathe you know take the bloody mask off and breathe deep do what makes us happy, do what makes us joyful as much as we can. Stay dis discerning, um, meditate, stretch, take walks in nature. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. Anyway, that's my two penneth. Thank you.